I like having church, don't you? Yeah, man. Praise the good Lord. Glad of Him this evening. Thankful for Him. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the good Lord. I believe He's worthy of it, don't you? Yes. You have to bear with me a little bit. I'm still under the influence. So. Praise the Lord. Praise God. We do like to be under the influence of the Holy Ghost. Praise the Lord. Glory to God. I, I just, just bear with me. I can't get myself. Praise the Lord. Can you feel that in the air? Can you feel it all around the church house you see? Praise the Lord. Spencer, you felt it, haven't you? You've had to feel that around your side. Glory to God. Nothing wrong when that begins to move like that. Put your hands up in the air and praise the Lord with all your heart. Honor Him. Give Him glory. Most of all, mind Him. Because in that moment, in that moment when the Lord is moving, He come down to obey or not obey. And I found that the more that we obey Him, the more willing our brothers and sisters to get to obey Him. And before you know it, we're sagging around the house of God and it all under the end. I praise Him this evening. Praise Him this evening. God is so good. He is so wonderful. Where would I be without Him? Praise the Lord. I love Him. I can't help this. You start with me. Praise the Lord. Praise the good Lord. Glory to God. How good did it feel, God? <laughs> How good does it still feel? Mother, how good did it feel? How good did it feel? Glory, glory, glory. Just as soon as he lets me, I'll move on. We need to learn to live in the moment. Amen. God kind of dropped too much from the past. I think we're going to do something tomorrow, but we need to live right now in this moment. The real Lord's close to us. We bother him a little bit, people come back by and move again. That would bother him a little bit. We're looking at a man tonight this week. Whatever he tell me to do, I'm willing to do. Whatever he tell me to do, I'm willing to do. Are you willing to do? Are you willing to do? Pray the Lord. If he give you the Holy Ghost, I'll be willing to crawl on my knees, my hands and knees down them steps out around the parking lot. Yeah. If he lets you speak in, I don't care. Come on. I'm willing to do. I'm willing to do it. I'm willing to do it. I'm going to be walking my hands around the pulpit. I'm willing to do it. I'll be decent when I do it. And I won't follow. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I've said praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Glory to God. Glory to God. You know what the Lord wants in a time like this? This is it tonight. I can just about see. I can just about see that fog sitting down in this building. I've seen it there. I can just about see that one sitting down in this building. Whatever you tell me to do, Lord. Can you say that? 
this evening, Lord, whatever you want me to do. Lord, however that you want me to move. My clothes ain't too good to get in the floor. Pray, Lord. It sure ain't too good to be that poor on oh, my head. Pray, Lord. Well, Lord. That is here tonight will heal your sick. Oh. It'll cast out that devil. Well. Okay, He'll give you strength in your body. Yeah. Well, 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 well. Well, Lord. Well, Lord. Well, Lord. Just get right with me, children. I can't help it. Oh, I can't help it. I'm glad you prayed for me. I felt the love of God. And that love of God is what it takes to work the gifts and the signs of God. It takes care of me. Amen. Everybody, I, I don't know if you stood or not. I, I don't believe I saw you stand. Why wouldn't you stand and ever said it was moving? I don't know, maybe the enemy will fight you, whatever. I've just been as proud to walk arm in arm with you around this final stand. I'd have been glad to walk hand in hand with you. Praise the Lord, ain't nobody in here better than you. Nobody in here worse. Well, glory. Well, glory. Mark, I'm waiting on tell me which one to read. Oh, 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 oh. I don't know how long that song went on, but a while ago, I said, that's all right, we'll go ahead and I'll play right on board until you decide to do something else. Because if you're in it, that's what you want done. If you want another hour and a half, God give us the strength, we'll go another hour and a half. Glory, glory, glory. Well, do you want to shout? Yeah. I'm going to tell you tonight my name is Jesse and I want to shout. I want to shout. I want to shout. I want to shout. I want to speak in tongues. Praise the Lord. Whatever you want. Whatever you want me to do, that's what I want to do. We're glory. Man, no matter how old we get, no matter how hard things get, God knows right where we are. And He knows exactly what we need. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Remember when I told you yesterday, I said, I might have mentioned to you about praying and fasting. Because times like these that will bring us closer to God. You know the Lord knows that you need help. Yes. Praise the Lord. He knows that we need help. He willing to say, Lord, whatever you want me to do, I'm willing to do it. God, He's got a way of bringing me to that place that I'll get willing to do whatever He wants me to do. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Could you just about see that old prophet of God, that old preacher, coughed up on the beach? Running toward that city, picking the seaweed out of his hair and off of around his neck, preaching the word of God. They ain't nothing like being delivered out of the glory to God. Bill in hell. Somebody come in willing to do whatever God wanted to do. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord. I'm glad this evening of the goodness of God. I love that. But I'm feeling my soul right now. I don't mean to go on. I'm not trying to not to pray long. And I feel from about my shoulder down to my fingertips right now. And I'd love to feel a little bit more. I'd love to feel a little bit more. Lord, this is I'm feeling an iron enough to do whatever God would have in mind. So I want to do. Praise God. I told him, Lord, you 
You'll have to tell me. You'll have to tell me. You tell me, Lord, and I'll do exactly what you need. I'm listening for his voice. What about you? Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. We're glad in the Lord this evening. Well, praise the Lord. Here we go. I want to say before I get started. In the ninth chapter, in the 
23rd verse, he said, And Moses and Aaron went into the tabernacle of the congregation and came out and blessed the people. And the glory of the Lord appeared unto all the people. And there came a fire out from before the Lord that consumed upon the altar of the burnt altar and the fat, which when all the people saw, they shouted and fell on their faces. And Nadab and Abihu, the son of Aaron, took either of them his censer, put fire therein, put incense thereon, and offered strange fire before the Lord, which he commanded them not. And they went out fire from the Lord and devoured them. And they died before the Lord. Yeah. Then Moses said unto Aaron, This is that, this is it that the Lord spake, saying, I will. Be sanctified in them that come nigh me. And before all the people, I will be glorified. And Aaron held his peace. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, praise the Lord. It may not be over at all. Praise the Lord. I've got to talk to us. Do you want to shout? I love all those of you who want more of that live on me. Brother Paul began to tell us in the Word of God. He said, All things are lawful unto me, but all things are not expedient. And I come to talk to us tonight about getting closer to the Lord. Getting closer to the Lord. Praise the Lord. You bear out with me tonight. And don't you fall out what I'm fixing to tell you. There are women who cut their hair that belong to the Lord. They don't know better than what they're doing. Did you hear me? I said they don't know better than what they're doing. There are those that have heard and rejected it. That's another case. Yeah. But there are those that don't know better. You hear me? Sure. But if they'll pray, the Spirit of the Lord will come to them and teach them. And He'll do something we call getting sanctified. And He'll sanctify them. And they won't cut their hair no more. I'm going to talk to them. Glory to God. Praise the Lord. I'm trying to be careful tonight, but I come. If I'm going to do this, I'm going to do everything God wants me to do. There are those tonight that's got some back of habits that are saved. I said they're saved. Praise the Lord. But if they'll pray, and they'll ask the Lord to help them. The Spirit of the Lord will come to them. And He'll take that away from them. Hallelujah. Glory. And they won't have to be dependent upon it no more. You can hope that people are going to get women to die or not. Well, I didn't say they were lost. I didn't say they didn't belong to God. But I'm saying there's something we can all deal with a little bit more sanctification. We can all deal with a little bit more Holy Ghost to move on me and you. Something I've learned in the years I've served the Lord. Glory to God, man, just when I thought I was living good and living close, the Holy Ghost would come by and begin to show me that I had a little bit more room to move up and I had a little bit more room to grow. But as long as you live, you're going to have room to move up. Ain't nobody denied flying away right now. But I come to tell us, if you want to shout, get sanctified. If you want to speak in tongues, get sanctified. Get back to that first love that you want to have when the Lord save you. Pray the Lord, there's some. There's some women that were riches. That don't know any better. And they belong to the Lord. Boy, they'd be Pharisees for our pieces with me tonight. I said they don't know any better. 
But they still belong to the Lord. Amen. But if they'll pray, Amen. if they'll pray with an honest heart, the Spirit of God will come to them and teach them that it's an abomination unto God for a woman to dress like a man. Or for a man to dress like a woman. It's the same, same teaching for both of them in the same verse. Praise the Lord. Just become now listen close to me. You just come up under me and then hold the spin before me. You put your riches on your back sleep when you did it. You're going to pin it on your hair, even across or cloud. Sometimes they want to feather it in so the preacher man can't tell. But the Holy Ghost looks down and sees everything and knows all about it. You're going to pin your hair, you backslid when you did it. Amen. And you become unsanctified before the Lord. I brought to you tonight about being set apart. Sanctified about being separated. Set apart to be holy in the service of God.
nobody's side. Put anybody down. I love my people. I've got good people. That devil's the one tell you, I don't have nothing for you. But I love you. And I'm willing to know. Are you willing? Are you willing? Are you really willing to try? Sometimes, right? That's what happens to us. We say, I'm willing. But when it comes time to either do or don't do, we're not willing, really. We think we're willing in our heart. But it don't take too much. Let's be honest with ourselves tonight and before the Lord. It really don't take too much nowadays to dissuade you and I from doing what God has been our hearts to do. It don't take too much of the press of the enemy before we break over and we just fail God and we just take our knees and let the enemy take more power in my own life. Well, praise the Lord. Boy, I'm not missing it ahead of you want to shout? Let's get sanctified. If you're not, if you're feeling that you're holy and clean and don't have no room to move up, <laughs> get your Bible and go home and get the altar with it tonight and start praying for you. Because everybody in here has got room to move up. I'm not going to come out here and act like I'm something big, something up on top, hitting you down there on the bottom. I want to tell you tonight, I'm the least in the house of the Lord. Praise the Lord. Amen. I'm the least in the house of the Lord. For I'm the servant in the house of the Lord. Praise the Lord. Do you want to shout? Do you want to shout? Do you want to shout? I bet you won't shout, but you're going to have to do something more than sit in the pews. You're going to have to do something more than ride that bench. When the Spirit of God begins to move, if you're able, get up. And reverence the Holy Ghost when He comes in. I've seen the time pass. Old oh, President would walk in, men, women stand at their feet, they begin to play a song, and everybody just honor that man. But the Holy Ghost had to come in a moment, people of God, and we see it, and we chit chat. Oh, we got to go to the bathroom now. Oh, why don't we get back understanding and reverence that that move among the children of God? Hey, preacher, you want some fire in what you're doing? You're sanctified. I talked to some already about it, but we. Praise the Lord. We went one time we heard a fellow get up and he began to talk about what one preacher did. And how another preacher's experience was. And how one had done. But I never did hear anything about himself and what he'd done with the Lord. Brother, if you don't have it, you can't use it. Praise the Lord. Preacher man, you want a little fire, let's get sanctified. Let's get separated. Let's get separated. You don't think we can use a little more time with the Lord? Listen, close to what I'm telling you. These cell phones that you got, they're a good thing if you use them the right way. Amen? But one of the biggest tricks that they'll ever pull on our people. <clears throat> Glory to God, they're online with the world wide web and they're offline with Jesus. Amen, preacher. Amen, Amen Brother Dixie. I didn't say it's now. If you go and you look at the wrong thing, you do the wrong thing on there, you sin. Amen. Hello. I'm going to preach I'm going to try to preach it right along the lines I possibly can. I ain't telling you you're saying if you got a cell phone. I'm saying if you're on that thing all day long. If you don't have time to pray, you're sinning because you are putting that before your God. Amen. I'm going to preach it to you tonight the way they preach to me. Anything that you have between you and the Lord has become your Lord. Has become your God. Hallelujah! It's about time the children of God get serious minded and say, hey, come with the Holy Ghost. I've got to go behind for sin and seek for the Holy Ghost. Amen. I just 
been told in water and then high the next week and come out and say, and I and I talk about praying at home. Yeah. You say, Lord, is there anything that you would want me to do that would please you? Is there anything, Lord, that I could do that would please you? Praise God, praise God, praise God. Thank you, my God. I'm telling you this evening. The Lord wants to separate the people. Not separate from one another. We're separated from the world. Yeah. Yeah. Glory to God. Yeah. I said separated from the world. Yeah. You know what Brother John began to tell me and you? He said, love not the world. Yeah. Well, glory. Neither the things that are in the world. If Christians aren't more in love of the world today, I don't know what I'm talking about. Amen. But I'm pretty safe where I'm standing. They fell head over heels in love with the world. Oh, and it's devouring the power of God out of our lives. Amen. Glory to God. You know, I mean, you know what I say? You know what preachers say? Don't you young men? But you're supposed to be helped carrying the burdens in the church. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. You're supposed to be picking this thing up, moving out. It's time to move out, boys. What are you waiting on? Whatever it is that keeps you from obeying the Lord, get rid of it. Whatever it is that keeps you from praying, lay it aside. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Help me, Lord. Are there things that we need to move out of the church house? Are there things that we need to pray that the Lord will move yeah. out of the church? Amen. And I'm not talking about throwing the land out of this church. I'm talking about there are things that are moving in. Yeah. Things that don't belong to God. Amen. That people are taking up with. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Well, you reckon pride? You get the pride in moving in. Well, glory, glory, glory. Look around you beautiful homeless people tonight. If you go some places, it looks like some of them, they just about they kept going to prom. Pray the Lord. I said, pray the Lord. Glory to God. But you know what happened when our people pray to be sanctified? Well, we look at the shoes. I remember Patsy talking about going to buy a pair of shoes. And she took them, she held them, she looked at them, she said, Now are these? She had the shoes. Oh, that's foolish. Yeah, that's just foolish enough to work. Praise the Lord. It's just crazy enough to work. To glory to God. How many times I'll be preaching, and I miss that old rattling tambourine. I miss that that would strike like a bowl of lightning. That tambourine that was shaking, and out she'd come. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord. What's my goodness? Do we have room tonight to live up? Amen. I'm going to bring this best of the wisdom that the Lord can give me, brother, to pray for me. You know, it gets cold out. And uh, sometimes if it's blowing cold or icy and stuff, I'll wrap a scarf around my neck, put it under my coat or over my coat. I do it to keep warm. But if you not told us, it kind of went away and now it's coming back again. Got an enemy. It's got our sisters protecting themselves. It can be summertime. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord. Won't have confidence in a man right in that time. Uh -oh. I tell you why that star just is proud. Yeah. 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 Well, glory. Well, glory. 
I'm called back getting sanctified. Come on now, them old, them old mothers. Remember they used to take that old thing they tied over their head? <laughs> they didn't do it to look like some big old movie star. They did it to keep their ears warm. Praise the Lord, if you're doing something for the next one, you said it. That's one thing, but you know when we're taking pride. Yes, I know. There's a time in this world, in this church world, when homeless people, you couldn't hire them to wear jewelry. You couldn't have paid them to do it. Because the Bible began to speak about that now with anointing. Let it not be the word of gold. The planet of her. Put it on of apparel. No place costly array decorating themselves. Praise the Lord. Have mercy. Have mercy. I'd like to, if old Denver be back. Wouldn't you like Brother Short to come and pray for some of these that stand in need for our son? I'd love to see him put his hand in that behind. Come on. One thing about it, when he got done with you, you felt better. People could tell that man laid hands on you. Praise the Lord. Glory to God. There wasn't me too much well said to her when he got done with you. Come on, we are getting it work. Amen. Glory to God. Anything you put pride in, you make that a sin. If you won't have pride to serve the Lord, that's good unless you get to feel better than everybody else and then you sin again. But anything in this world that you take too much pride in, it becomes a sin to you. Lord, would you keep me sanctified? Lord, would you keep me sanctified? It takes the Lord to keep me. You know I said, I don't feel like you can keep yourself. I'm telling you, you can't. It takes the Lord to keep me. Lord, would you sanctify me? Praise God, praise God, praise God. Pride. Glory, glory, glory. You know where pride comes? It comes before the Father. Amen. There's six things that the Lord does take. They say an abomination to. You know what number one on the list is? A proud look. Amen. Lord, would you sanctify me? Would you sanctify me? Lord, would you sanctify me? Who do you little mother sitting right here tonight? Second pew, look at the three little mothers sitting there. When I was a young boy, their hair was a lot darker. You can't tell till you get close to mama, but she's got it in there. And she don't put nothing in her hair. She don't color her hair. She don't wash that gray right out of her hair. She just got what she got. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. But have you ever seen a time when some of the preachers? Hello, Holy Ghost. We used to try to have to get on to the sisters over. Now you've got to be careful. You've got to watch the brothers. Amen. When you come in salt and pepper one night, And the next time I see you, you look like somebody put some shoe polish on your head. <laughs> There's some pride down in that heart somewhere. Praise the Lord. what people don't get. They say, what's wrong with me dying my hair? It's the pride that's in it. It is the pride of life that is the sin. Hello. I don't know if y'all understand what you this one. Praise the Lord. But I hope I come out tomorrow night and I hope you lose on me deeper. And I hope you lose on me greater. And I hope you're speaking in tongues before this thing is over. See, men, listen out here. We're about the same age. Proud of him. I said I'm proud of him. We're just going to grow all gracefully. Amen. Take it as it comes. Glory to God. You want the Lord to move on you? You want Him to move on you? Get sanctified. 
You're saying you don't have room preachers? Let me tell you, and now let me be first in line. Say, Lord, sanctify me. Sanctify me. Separate me. Set me aside, Lord. But I tell you one thing. If I wasn't where I needed to be, he wouldn't let me preach it to me. The Lord didn't move on me. You want to come out here and you want the Lord to move on you? Yes. That that he's been dealing with you for months and so many years. Why don't you go ahead and try it this week? Alright. Won't you try it this week? Praise the Lord, praise the Lord. I said, praise the Lord, praise the Lord. They saw Moses in Aaron. They did what the day done what the Lord told them to do. They got saved. And they brought that offer before the Lord, and the Lord sent fire to consume it. So here, Aaron's sons began to think, well, it worked for it worked for Uncle Moses. It worked for Daddy. I'm going to do like my family did. And they began to step out and try to work the works that God had called and ordained them men to do, sanctified them to do. And they offered a strange fire. Come on, little holy people. How many times have you sat in service somewhere and something began to get on the floor and you just about cringe? You just about get ashamed and afraid of what's moving. Yep, you know what it is? That's that strange fire. Yeah. Something wrong with them. Yeah. You know what I want? I want that that moves on daddy. You might as well brace yourself. If he sends me to you every night, I'll come to you every night. Because you got the real thing. You hear me? I said, she got the real thing. I've seen that move on my brother in law. Baby, I saw that get on Junior one night, and you talk about a pale looking fellow. Praise the Lord. You remember that night? Yeah. Mom, was it you that went back there and Joyce or maybe Gail said, and that just said him right back down in his seat? You know what that was? That was that real fire. Praise the Lord. See, children, I'm not preaching to you tonight that you don't belong to the Lord. I'm not telling you that you're not saved. But I'm telling you those little things that the Lord's been dealing with you to lay down. Set them aside. Get rid of them. If you obey the Lord, you'll begin to feel the Lord work with you greatly. And you know what is important? To be able to have confidence in ourselves toward God. What do you mean? Well, how can I put it? Have you ever had that begin to lose in the service and you feel that? But then here comes that enemy and begins to condemn you. And you reminds you of something. And now you say it. Because you don't have confidence in your heart. But then you went and you took care of that. Yeah. And the next time that they began to move, that enemy couldn't come to you and use that on you. That's when you have confidence in yourself for the Lord. Well, praise the good Lord. Well, praise the good Lord. We need to get sanctified. Ricky, do we have room to move up? I do. I do. I do. Do we have room? Jack, do we have room? I do. But what I'm preaching to you tonight will help you. Yes. I'm not preaching to you make you feel bad, make you feel hurt. I'm trying to help you. There is a power of God that will take hold of your soul. You don't have to know or ponder or think of what words to speak. Preacher, you won't have to go and plot out what sermon to preach. You won't have to sit and look around and say, Lord, who can I pray for tonight? When you get sanctified, the Lord will come to you 
And He will speak to you. And He will tell you what to do. Praise the Lord. I'm reminded of the began to talk about it. I believe last night she said, I love it when He comes to me and wakes me up and talks to me. Don't you love it when the Lord comes to you and wakes you and talks to you? Have you ever had Him wake you? And talk to you and tell you what to do? What will we? Well, do you want your children saved? Do you want your grandchildren saved? Praise the Lord. You have to come out here with your mind in a place. Where are you I have done nothing today to make my Lord ashamed. I put my time in with the Lord. I'm no better than nobody else. But Lord, if you want to move on me, I'm willing to do whatever you'd have me do. I'm willing to do it. Praise the Lord. Would you like to pray? Would you like to pray? Jesse, you wore me out. The Lord moves on a man to preach sanctification to me and he wires me out. I need to bore up one side and down the other. Because I want to make it in. I want to make it in. I go, we go, have gone, begin to look around, and, and, and maybe you've been at times and you've seen the same thing. Maybe you've been, you've seen the same thing. But we see prophecy move, and it's a shallow, I'd be afraid to jump into it. See, people get up, not against nobody tonight. I can't even remember who got up and did what tonight. I remember Ron prayed for me, but the rest, I don't remember if you moved. We see people get up and see them move and it's so shallow you're afraid to get in with. Preacher, get up and go on and on and on with the sermon. When they get done, you don't even know what the sermon was. Let me remind you tonight I'm preaching. We need to get sanctified. Why don't you remember what it was? Because it was so shallow. Tell me like that sticker on your swimming pool. You got one. No diving, hazardous, may cause injury. But I love that deepness of God in a loop that you've got no fear in what's moving. You can jump in head first and there's no danger. There's no danger. Why? Because it's deep enough to swim in. Deep enough to get him in. There's no move on people. And all I say is that. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I love you more too. I love you. I love him. Praise the Lord. I said I love him. Would you be willing tonight to do what the Lord tells you to do? Would you be willing? If he were to come to you. We just need a little bit more sanctification. That's all. Are you saved? I will help you out tonight. Put your hand up. You say, I'm saved. I'm saved. You say, I'm saved. I'm saved. I'm saved. I'm not preaching to you tonight that you're not saved. I'm not preaching to us tonight we're not saved. Are you saved? I'm going to get back in here. I'm going to start the nest tonight. Are you saved? Are you saved? Look, you hear what? Two miracles. He's headed in the house of God. Saved. I'm not preaching to you. You're not saved. 
I'm not telling you you don't say this. Some preachers will preach this, and when the way they preach it, they make you feel like you don't belong to God. I'm not telling you you don't belong to God. I'm not telling you you're not saying. I'm saying we need to have ears to hear what the Spirit would say to the church. We need to have eyes that we can see. We need a heart of understanding and a mind to do the will of God. We just need to be a little more sanctified. A little more sanctified. Spencer, if you do something, and you pray for Brother Jesse to see it, get rid of it. Because Jesus is everywhere. The eyes of God are in every place. Sometimes I take a little walk down with faith. I take a little walk down the lane here with the walk by faith this week. Wouldn't you like to have heard Dalton to preach his good first sermon this week? Yeah. Well, brother, I would. Guess you ought not try to push nobody. You talk to your daddy sometimes, see if I didn't tell him before he ever got the Holy Ghost. I said, I can't call you. I said, but I know what you've done in your life. I know what to work, the Lord. You have to pray and find out for yourself, but I know the work that God has for you to do. And the Lord come. And He made it a good one. And the same God. How about them like Paul talking to Timothy? Whew. Glory to God, I can't quite talk about Eunice, but I can say Lois. And I can say Terry. Praise the Lord. And I'm persuaded the same thing as in you. Glory to God. Uh, would you like this week? Yeah. I keep saying a week. I'm going to go to. I'm going to go to you some more out. Take yeah. your tongues long out. You're willing to move and do whatever God would tell you to do. Come on. Are you willing? Are you willing the next time you give your testimony? Are you willing to stand up and tell people? You say little bit just burning in your heart. Let me tell you the first time I ever preached a sermon, you know what it was? I had just a little bit turning over in my heart just to read the scripture. Yeah. Turning over and over, burning in my heart. Yeah. Chest just pounding. Mm -hmm. All these others there, that one, that one, that one, my chest pounding. And I'm so glad when the man had looked over and said, You got something to read? And he called me, Hey, girl, he said, This boy. That's all it was. So this boy wants to read something. Yeah. I'm so glad that that brother, he called me out. I'm so glad that he helped me step out that night because all I had to do, I'd already got sanctified. He'd already filled me with the Holy Ghost and all I had to do was mind him. And I just I started reading and the Holy Ghost started speaking. Yeah. That's what it takes. Do you know what our people need? I'm not putting other churches down judging other people. There are some here you sit under the finest preachers. Some of the best anointed men that God put in this Christian generation. And you know what? And you know what it takes. Don't worry about this modernism that's moving in. It's not going to make it. But you get your holiness out. And you put it on. You wear it. And you, I understand prideful in a sinful way, but you be proud to show this young generation what a holiness woman looks like and what a holiness man looks like. Praise the Lord, I'm done. All along, 